and welcome back. Now, lever time matrix number two, lever time in hours. Now we are going to assume the crew is based at Kolkata. So we will think that KA1 reaches from Kolkata to Ahmedabad and then becomes either AK1 or AK2 or AK3 or AK4. KA1 starts from Kolkata at 8 am and reaches Ahmedabad at 10 am. Now if KA1 becomes AK1 10 a.m. to 6 a.m. will be the layover time 10 a.m. to 6 a.m. 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to day 6 a.m. tomorrow or next day so it will be 22 hours or sorry 24 minus 4 20 hours <coughs> now if KA1 reached Ahmedabad 10 a.m. to day becomes AK2 that means now it will start at 8 a.m. tomorrow or next day 10 a.m. to 8 a.m. layover time 24 hours minus 2 so it will be 22 hours if KA1 becomes AK3 reach Ahmedabad at 10 a.m. today can start again for Kolkata from Ahmedabad 2 p.m. today. Is it possible? 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Only 4 hours. That means this condition of minimum layover time of 5 hours is not satisfied. So it will be now, sorry, it will become K AK3 on next day only, not today itself. So 10 a.m. today to 2 p.m. next day. 4 hours plus 24 hours so it will be 28 hours this is not a simple thing the calculation of hours is not a simple thing the explanation can be given orally only because it is not possible to write all the wordings to calculate these hours so be careful in listening to me and if you feel it necessary watch these two videos or lectures more than once now if ka1 becomes ak4 reach ahmedabad 10 am today can again start from ahmedabad to Kolkata 8 pm today yes 2 hours still 12 noon 2 plus 8 hours 2 plus 8 will be 10 lower than will be only 10 hours Okay, now KA2 starts from Kolkata at 9 a.m. and reaches Ahmedabad 8 a.m. today. If it becomes AK1, 11 a.m. today, 6 p.m. can be on tomorrow only. So, layover will be 11 a.m. today to 6 a.m. tomorrow. What will be that? In one hour, it will be 12 noon. In 12 hours, it will be 12 midnight, 1 plus 12, 13 plus 6, so it will be 19 hours of layover time. If KA2 becomes AK2, reach Ahmedabad 11 am today, 8 am today is not possible, so 8 am tomorrow. 11 am today to 8 am tomorrow will be the layover time. 11 to 12 noon, 1 hour, 12 to 12 midnight, 12, 1 plus 12, 13, 13 plus 8, it will be 21 hours of layover time. If KA2 becomes AK3, 11 am today to 2 pm today, the layover time comes to 3 hours only. This condition of minimum of 5 hours of layover time is not satisfied. So it cannot become AK3 today itself. It can become AK3 tomorrow only. 8 a.m. today to 2 p.m. tomorrow. 3 hours plus 24 hours. So layover time of 27 hours. If K2 becomes AK4. 11 a.m. today to 8 p.m. today. If layover time is taken as that. 8 plus 1. 9 hours will be the layover time. That is more than 5, so the condition is satisfied and 9. Now, K2 
KA3 starts from Kolkata 2 pm today, reaches Ahmedabad 4 pm today. If KA3 becomes AK1, 4 pm today to 6 am tomorrow will be the layover time. 4 pm to 12 midnight, 8 hours plus 6 hours till morning. So 8 plus 6, it will be 14 hours of layover time. If K3 becomes AK1. Now if K3 becomes AK2, layover time will be 4 pm today to 8 am tomorrow. So it will be 16 hours. If K3 becomes AK3, 4 pm today to 2 pm today is not possible. That means 4 pm today to 2 pm tomorrow will be the layover time. It will be 22 hours. If KA3 becomes AK4, 4 pm today to 8 pm today, if layover time is taken as that, it is only 4 hours. That is less than 5 hours minimum according to this condition. So it cannot become AK4 today itself. So 4 hours plus 24 hours for tomorrow. 4 plus 24, it will be 28 hours of layover time. KA4 starts from Kolkata 7 pm today, which is another hour 9 pm today. If KA4 becomes AK1, the layover time will be 9 pm today to 6 am tomorrow. 3 plus 6, 9 hours. If KA4 becomes AK2, layover time will be 9 pm to 8 am tomorrow. 9 pm today. 2, 8 am tomorrow, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 8, sorry, 3 plus 8, 11 hours will be the layover time, 9, 9 to 8 morning. Similarly, if KA4 becomes AK3, 9 pm today, 2, 2 pm tomorrow, so 24 minus 7, it will be 17 hours. If KA4 becomes AK4, 9 pm today to 8 pm, today not possible, so 8 pm tomorrow, it will be 23 hours of layover time. Yes. Now, what is the last condition? For any given pairing, the crew will be based at the city that results in the smallest layover. So, now this is the stage of comparison. We have to compare the time in these two tables and have to select the minimum. In case of AK1 to KA1, which is the minimum time? The minimum time is 24 and 20, so it is 20. AK1, KA2, 25 and 19, which is the minimum time? It is 19. AK1, KA3, which is the minimum time? 6 and 14, so it is 6. AK1, KA4, 11 and 9, which is the minimum time? 9. AK2 and KA1, 22 and 22, which should be selected? We can select any of these two. We are going to select this one arbitrarily. <coughs> AK2, KA2, 23 and 21, minimum time is 21. AK2, KA3, 28 and 16, minimum time is 16. AK2 and KA4, 9 and 11, minimum time is 9. Now AK3, AK3 and KA1, 16 and 28, so minimum time comes to 16. AK3 and KA2, 17 and 27, minimum time is 17. AK3, 22 and 22, minimum time, both are equal, 22 in any one. AK3 and AK4, 27 and 17, so minimum time comes to 17. AK4, K1, 10 and 10, both are equal. AK4, K2, 11 and 9, so minimum time comes to 9. 
AK4, K3, 16 and 28, minimum time comes to 16. AK4, K4, 21 and 23, minimum time comes to 21. Yes. One plus two, three, three plus three, six, six plus three, nine. Nine plus two, eleven, eleven plus two, thirteen plus two. Have we missed anyone? No. Okay. Sixteen. So now, what will be the next day? Next will be the stage of uh, form formulating the assignment problem now we can prepare an assignment table or say formula a table showing the formulation of assignment problem selecting these minimum time that we are going to say do in the next lecture that will be the last part formulation of assignment problem out of the manageable problem and solving the assignment problem that's it thank you very much